What's up everybody? This is Bailey Maloney and today I am back with another figure review. Today we will be looking at both Classic Sonic and Mighty the Armadillo. Both of them are released by Jax Pacific. Now Classic Sonic comes with a spring as you see here and Classic Mighty comes with a little ring box right here. Now, I'm going to set this camera down and we'll go over the accessories. Oop, there we go. Alright, now let's look at the spring first. The painting and sculpting on this thing looks nicely done. I, I like the red that Jack's Pacific made. Um, the bottom of the spring down here look, uh, its details look practically realistic. And you can press it, press it up, press it down right here. So you can reenact a classic Sonic jumping onto the spring here. And the ring box right here, it has a great t detail of of the ring inside here and the static I think that's a static effect it looks just just like the classic Sonic games um, and these things were resurrected and uh, for Sonic Mania released in 2017 the same year Sonic Forces was released yeah. These accessories are immaculate. Now, let's take a look at the figures. First, I'll start with Classic Sonic. Um, the, the painting on him looks really good. Um, his eyes are painted in nicely. Got the, the black eyes here. His ears are sculpted in. His spines are sculpted in pretty good his nose and oh I like his little mouth here it's like he's smiling <laughs> um there are some paint errors right here on his on his stomach but I'm not complaining about it too much um his spines and tail are sculpted in nicely uh his okay he has uh paint problems on the on the socks right here you can see that in the on this sock but this yeah I don't know if you could see that or not but yeah there's some paint flubs here but the shoes are sculpted in nicely and yeah yeah classic Sonic looks pretty cool looks way past cool I want to say <laughs> now let's take a look at mighty um Here's a little fun fact. Uh, Mighty up here made his first appearance in Knuckles Chaotix in 1996, and he was a cameo or a playable character along with Ray the Flying Squirrel in uh, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog uh, arcade arcade game. Yeah, his shell is sculpted in nicely. His ears are sculpted in pretty good. The tail. Oh, a uh, paint error right here and right there. But it's okay. His eyes are painted in nicely. You got the nose right, the smile. And stomach looks pretty good. Uh, shoes look, look pretty good. We got the painting of him right. Uh, yeah. That's Mighty the Armadillo for you. And, um, I think, uh, I think Jack Specific should release uh, Ray the Flying Squirrel so we could complete. Uh, you see, we can't possibly complete Mighty without Ray. <laughs> Now we got all the the painting and sculpting out of the way. 
time we go over to articulation, and as always, starting from the head down. Classic Sonic's head can move left and right, and can it do a 360? Yes, it can. His arms go in and out, forward and back. The wrist goes up and down and swivel. Legs go out about that far, back about that far, bend at the knee, ankles move up and down, and all the way around. <laughs> that knee. That's neat, in it? <laughs> now for Mighty. You might say because of his shell, his head would not be able to move. But with this, Mighty, he can move his head. Just not in... But he can only go that far because his arms are in the way. So he can't do a 360, which sucks. Oh well. His arms go in and out, forward and back. The wrist can swivel and can move up and down. Up and down. There we go. Uh, legs go on about that far, back about that far, bend at the knee, swivel on the ankle, and the ankle up, down, and twist all the way around. Yeah. These can be pretty tricky to stand unless you can center their balance. All right, I got Classic Sonic to stand. Now what do you say we do some size comparison, shall we? Here is Modern Sonic. Um, the one thing I'm not too happy about is that uh, Modern Sonic and Classic Sonic are about the same height. Frankly, I was expecting uh, Classic Sonic to be a little shorter, the same as said with Mighty. But that's okay, that's okay. And they're four inch, four inch line, so not complaining. And here is Tails. I'm gonna set him over here next to Mighty. Now all we need is um, Classic Tails, Classic Knuckles, uh, Ray the Flying Squirrel, and possibly Classic Amy to complete the Classic Line. Well, I hope you guys enjoy my look at the Classic Sonic and Classic Mighty the Armadillo from Jack Pacific. Um, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, until the new figure reveal comes around, this is Bailey Maloney signing off. Catch you on the flip side.